All right. Hi, everyone. This is Layer Games, and today I'm finally watching another episode of uh, Isekai Slime. It's been just a tiny little while since I've seen the last episode, um, but i um, finally ready to continue it again. Uh, and yeah, I've been super excited about this, but I haven't really had a chance to record, or at least the chances that I've had I've used on other things, unfortunately, but uh, finally back. So uh, yeah, it seems that we're starting off with uh, the backstory of uh, that one character that we just met, and uh, who's also from the same world as our main character. And we're probably going to see just what she went through. So, uh, this is going to be exciting. Boop. Conqueror of Flame. So it's going to be about her, most definitely. She came from a different time period than the main character. As we saw in the uh, beginning of the show. It was during World War II, I think. You'd think, you know, she'd be a lot more expressive, considering she's covered in burns. She said she had, like, a control of a spirit or something, right? Okay, I am not understanding this. So, he's the Demon Lord? The Demon Lord summoned her, it seems, then. Unless, okay, unless it's just the Demon Lord. He can become the Demon Lord by defeating this guy because he's on the opposite side, so it'll be like some sort of uh, merit that he receives by doing so. It's like, oh, you killed one of our enemies. You're now a uh, a possible successor for Demon Lord, I guess. Okay, uh, she is obviously going to use some sort of power to defeat him pretty easily, I, I believe. But the real question I have is, why does he have a giant... Fork. Yeah, I assumed that was going to happen. But it seems that this fire ability is instinctual, so I wonder how that's going to affect her. I guess the E eh was too annoying to pronounce. So I assume this is just a little bit further in the future, but still in the past. Yeah, okay, she still looks young. I was kind of afraid she was just going to kill the girl. <laughs> like, I was kind of afraid it was going to be like a, a way darker backstory. Though, it, it could still go in that direction. That's a pretty cute Eevee. Oh, it's evolving! I don't know that EV transformation. Actually, I kind of missed the last couple of... I was thinking about Pokemon. <laughs> so 
So they're both in the castle and they already knew each other. This wasn't the first time they met. This was just a time that they found a creature. Now I'm almost dreading something is going to happen to this creature. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I guess it was a... A combination of my first thoughts. She is going to kill something. <laughs> and the creature... Oh, no! It, it killed her! Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that was just as dark as I was fearing. Uh, she just killed the girl. That... Ah, <sighs> well. Yeah. They went dark backstory. They really did just introduce that character so they could kill her. I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case, but, um, yeah, they, they went, they went that route. Where are you again? Oh, right, the adventurer. So what is this sort of, like, impulse she's getting? It seemed before that she was, like, protecting that guy. Who's probably, like, her master or something since he summoned her. But what's this impulse now? Is it the same impulse? And if so, what what's the condition? <clears throat> oh, revenge, maybe? Or possibly asking for a favor. Hmm. Oh, this is an interesting angle, but, um, seems it's happening again, maybe. Her eyes are probably glowing under that mask.
this is different from uh, that other time with the girl. No. Of course he can handle it. That's some very quiet fire. Oh! Oh, right, that's probably the spirit that's, like, inside her. Maybe that's what's giving her all these, like, impulses to kill. It's like, it takes over, probably. So what makes him come out is a question. So is he just, like, powering up right now? Oh, he was summoning more... Rimuru has been very passive right now. Like, he's just been watching this whole time. Well, they're brave ones, I'll give them that. Hmm. Okay, so he's at least stronger than Waterblade, which means he's stronger than any of the things he fought in the cave. Oh, well, that worked. Yes, that's that's what she said. I mean, you could have just transformed a while ago, I don't know, into something faster. You didn't even have to ride the wolf, you could have just transform into the wolf yourself. You still can use all of your abilities. Kind of looks like a Daedra from uh, the Elder Scrolls series, a little bit.
That's a large area. Good thing it, um, those, uh, answers come with visuals. Otherwise, he wouldn't know what kind of area <laughs> the effect would take up. Okay. So is he analyzing it? Okay, yeah. So he's able to learn an attack by taking it, essentially. Eating it. It's kind of terrifying. Ooh. That's a bit larger scale than her attack. <laughs> Good thing they stayed still, huh? Ooh. Kind of thought the Rimuru would get there before it exploded, but I guess not. They're they're alive. This is a very slow paced battle. <laughs> but it's pretty nice looking. Oh, that seems even easier than summoning those demons. It's faster, too. And they all seem to be physical, so why didn't he do that in the first place? No, oh, I guess they weren't real, then. They were melting the ground for some reason. I really do like how those magic circles look. That's not what he said. He does have pretty much every kind of resistance. So even that awesome looking flame spiral is probably not going to do anything to him. Is it actually hurting him, or is he just thinking it's hurting him? I still think maybe it's not doing anything to him. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's not just resistance, that's nullification. So I don't know why it's still called resistance. Everything is easy mode for you already. Really? You didn't seem like you had planned it. You were panicking a bit. Nani? Ha! Classic. Is 
they're made from his slime, probably. The fire looks absolutely great, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Oh, he's going to eat him. Well then, the ultimate predator. Even though the original context of his wish wasn't anything like that. <laughs> so I guess eating him made her come out somehow. Thought she transformed into him or something. Maybe I missed something. So is he going to be a roommate with the dragon now? Oh my god, they're roommates! <laughs> that's, that's really awesome. <laughs> oh, this makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, this was a good episode. This was a good ending. I mean, besides the unnecessarily tragic backstory, I think. Oh, uh, might be some spoilers in that ED, but um, yeah, this is really enjoyable for the most part. The uh. The effects were just great, and uh, seeing overpowered characters win like that, it's somehow really satisfying. Especially with the line that Rimuru decided to, you know, dole out right after he had finished his attack. Oh, did you do something? That's like the best thing you could possibly say in that situation. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, going back to that backstory... I never like it when they introduce characters like that. That you think, oh, they're not possibly gonna just introduce her to kill her, and they do, and then you're like, oh no, I should have expected that. I mean, you expect that with like edgy series, but I didn't feel that this one was going to go that way. That was just the worst case scenario in my mind, and then it happened. Hopefully there's not too much of those kinds of developments. Maybe they just wanted her, like... What do I call it? Her... Joining into the group? To be a little bit dramatic and significant. Because to me, it didn't seem, like, at least from the little glimpse we saw, that that girl was all too big a part of her life. Maybe she was, they kind of implied it a little bit, but we never really got to see it, so it's not like we got too attached to her either. So, if they were going to kill off a character, I guess it's, I guess it's better if we didn't know her that well. But then again, if it's if a character we know really well dies, it's also way more impactful if done well. But yeah, this is a great episode. Especially the ending. Just seeing uh, the demon whose name I already forgot. And the dragon whose name I already forgot as well. I, I know his last name, it's Tempest, but <laughs> but that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm just excited to watch the next one. It's uh, it's great to watch this again. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.